Hello, everyone, and welcome. Let us ride, so to speak, on the energies of Aquarius for our work today, preparing for meeting our national soul. Aquarius being the dispenser of the water of life with its mental freshness. It opens a view into the higher worlds, a peep into archetypal design into the future towards the new vision. So today, on this webinar will be, um, we will be turning our attention upwards towards our national soul. Um, so this will be a very meditative webinar. We would like to take you on a contemplative journey consisting of two parts now. The first will be a slow, slow motion process of gearing our equipment and exploring the meeting ground for our high encounter. So this is a preparation for the meeting. And this will be more a feeling or experiencing process than a thinking process. And then we will have a brief period of silence and recollection. And afterwards, we will re-enter the higher world, um, opening a space for communion with the national soul. So let us begin. How exactly do we approach a national soul? How can we make it real? How can we get a real felt sense experience of a national soul? We know that we need to open ourselves to something that is completely new for us, beyond the reach of our usual feelings and thoughts. So, as a starting point, as the place on which we stand, is our experience of ourselves as the soul. Let us do this now. Standing as the soul and allowing ourselves for a moment to feel. How does that feel to be a soul? A felt sense of this. And now let us tune our feeling sense to the soul of a group. Let's just choose a group and start to sense its soul node, the vibration of this group soul. And again, ask ourselves, how does it feel? We use our felt sense. And as we continue to sense it, let us at the same time become aware of how do we actually sense this. What part of our inner equipment do we use to sense it? 
What inner muscle or action do we employ? Perhaps we can locate where we feel it, maybe in the heart, in the head, perhaps in a prolongation of the spine. Let's take another moment to observe this part of our equipment, our esoteric sense. our antenna into the subtle world. So this is our means of contact. So the next question is, how do we tune this antenna to a soul of a nation? Where do we tune it to? We know that archetypal patterns and entities can be contacted on the buddhic plane. So let's take a moment to recall what we know about the buddhic plane. The word buddhi comes from the Sanskrit root bud, meaning to know. But this knowing is meant in a much wider sense than what we can know with our mind. On the sevenfold ladder of consciousness in our solar system, the plane of mind is where we comprehend mentally, and the buddhic plane is one major vibrational level higher than the mental plane. We as a species are slated to move from intellect on the mental plane to intuition on the buddhic plane. So this stretch of consciousness to the buddhic plane represents the frontier of our evolution. And for our work with the soul of nations, this stretch seems to be necessary. So let us do this stretch now in slow motion. We bring our mind now to the highest vibration that we can reach at this moment. And we hold it steady in the Aquarian light. And now we bring our heart to the highest vibration we can reach at this moment. Expanding it, deepening it. And now, let us imagine or sense a state of consciousness where our heart and our mind resonate in unison and become one.
in the state of consciousness of buddhi the heart and the mind are one so see if we can hold this state of consciousness our best approximation of the buddhic state And see if we can sense or experience some of the qualities of buddhi. Pure reason. all pervading love a spacious awareness of the whole discernment of archetypal design Let us now take a period of silence and recollection. Perhaps we can note down some impressions, we take another minute or two. As we know, on the buddhic plane, we find the ashrams of the masters of wisdom. And also the higher devas. So we will now enter into resonance with these higher co-workers as much as we are able and with their help open a space for communion with the soul of our nation. So let us stand each on our pinnacle
soul to soul. United in our group intention to serve our nations. We tune our mind towards the plane of Buddhi. We raise the vibration of our heart to resonate with that plane. And we sense our heart and our mind becoming one. Opening ourselves now to an experience of the atmosphere of the buddhic plane, perceiving the buddhic light, that our whole field of perception be filled with this buddhic light. We are immersed in pure awareness. All present discernment, all knowing. And we open deeper to the buddhic vibration all-encompassing universal love. We feel the immense solar vitality, the all-healing power that pervades everything. an electric force field of immeasurable inspiration. We open now our antennas to the presence of the Masters of Wisdom. We stand in the atmosphere of the Ashramic world. And we sense the presence of higher devas. And within this field of, this vast field of 
relationships, subtle relationships. Let us see if we can orient our receptivity now towards that group of beings who work with the soul of our own nation, human and deva. We now sense a sacred silent space being held for us in which we can open ourselves to the energy of the soul of our nation. We will take a few minutes in silent reverence, entering into communion with the soul of our nation.
Very gently now, gradually, we begin to loosen our high resonance. Releasing the soul of our nation with gratitude. Releasing the focus from the buddhic world. Collecting our consciousness back to our pinnacle now. Standing at the midway point between the higher world and our nation below. See now soul energy pouring forth into the outer expression of our nation. Lifting, lighting the mental and astral world of the citizens. Strengthening the new, clarifying, orienting, inspiring. And pouring into the physical world. Into the cities, the villages the infrastructure, into nature, to the animals, the plant life, into the waters, and down into the ground, into the subtle beings. Let us visualize a renewal taking place in our nation. Water of life, replenishing all planes. Let us visualize the soul note of our nation sounding forth in creative expression. Sounding in harmony with the souls of all nations. And let us for another moment hold the image of our planet in new livingness, truth and freedom. And on the wings of three ohms, we sound the high energy out through all levels.
Let us slowly return to our daily focus. Perhaps take another moment to note down any impressions 